It's the hometown of our former Chronicle colleague, Mike Barnacle. This is where I grew up. Right there on that corner, Holt Street and Summer Street. Once a busy mill town, Fitchburg, just over an hour west of Boston, is now a draw for education, architecture, and the arts. It's also a popular spot for a quick family getaway. Fitchburg is home to one of the largest family resorts in the country, Great Wolf Lodge. At check-in, guests of every age are encouraged to wear wolf ears. We're basically a full entertainment complex with lodging, retail, food and beverage, all under one roof. Oh, and let's not forget two huge water parks. There's just so much to do here, fun for all ages. What do you think of this place? It's amazing. They love swimming, definitely in the winter. You need activities to keep them busy. There are six water slides, including the Howling Tornado, where you speed through the funnel into the pool below. There's a lazy river, a wave pool, and a little something for the wee ones, too. We have two large activity pools for them, and they have their own slides dedicated for their age group, as well as a lot of play structures and fun toys. Need a break from water play? Relax in a cabana, check out the arcade, or better yet, Howling Timber Play Park. Which includes a ropes course, miniature golf, and climbing walls. Great Wolf Lodge has more than 400 guest rooms, many of them themed. Nine dining options, including Lodgewood Grill, with a range of menu choices. Head spinning at from all the possibilities? It's really the ultimate destination. in search of culture look no further than the Fitchburg Art Museum, founded in 1925 as a gift from artist and Fitchburg native Eleanor Norcross, whose artwork is still on display. Her father, Amasa Norcross, was the first mayor of Fitchburg, and he later became a congressman. And Eleanor never married, and she produced a lot of wonderful artwork. When she passed away, she left some money and her collection of paintings through the city of Fitchburg. And her two best friends were the executors of her will, and they decided that the best tribute to Eleanor would be an art center. Today, at 20,000 square feet, exhibitions span from historical to contemporary art. There are also galleries set up specifically for school groups and families, such as Moving Arts, a hands-on African exhibition. They would be able to create a mask using some magnetic wooden pieces. They can try on African clothing and learn about the significance of the cloth. And they can also try to weigh out some fake gold. Discover Ancient Egypt is the most requested gallery by school groups. This interactive exhibit brings the history and art of Egypt to life, including murals depicting Egyptian religious beliefs, a real child mummy, and a miniature diorama about mummification. This is the most favorite thing of all children that come here. It shows the mummification process in four different steps. Take a seat in a replica of King Tut's throne. So pretty. Use hieroglyphics. This is the closest we could get to writing Chronicle with the Egyptian alphabet. It's really just sort of getting a sense of what it was like in ancient Egypt. We knew we couldn't cover it all, but we thought people should at least get the flavor of it. For those 12 and up, your mission is to escape this dollhouse by using clues and solving various puzzles and riddles in 60 minutes. Or turn into a doll. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, no idea. Curious Escape Rooms is the brainchild of Audrey Pendleton Chow, who spent years as a TV and film set designer in New York City. She now runs the business with her husband, Jeremy. Audrey set up shop in Fitchburg because it's her hometown. My heart has always been here. My husband graduated from Fitchburg State University. We just really want to help with the revitalization of downtown Fitchburg and help bring more business and people here and offer more cool things that can happen in Fitchburg. On site, there's also a 90s video store challenge where participants have to find a secret videotape. Neither of these room puzzles are easy to solve. Only 35% escape the dollhouse. Case in point, my time has run out. What does that mean? I'm going to 
to turn into a doll? Yeah, we're dolls now. Help me, please! <laughs> the Fitchburg Art Museum has voluntarily closed to, quote, support the city and state in their efforts to contain COVID-19 and ensure the health and safety of our staff, visitors, and community. They are offering programs online. As for Great Wolf Lodge, it is still open with updated safety precautions, including mask wearing and limited capacity. Up next, a virtual trip for friends in search of adventure.